Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be trying something a little new today. Right now, it's just kind of doing the demo play. So when it, hmm, I do want to give it a All right, yeah, let's just jump in. Let's go! I want to say, I got this game very cheap. And I am incredibly happy about what I got for the price. Because between a sale and a, uh, and like just me having a few points left over, game audio a bit loud. Okay, let me fiddle with it right quick. Okay, is this better? Oh, that game over screen's adorable too. Check, please. Okay, I am going to make sure my tags are right while it plays the cutscene about the story. A strange curse falls across the land. Breakfast everywhere has disappeared. Creator of the number one breakfast cereal in the world. God, this game is so goofy. I'm glad. Okay, my tags are ready. <laughs> Hi, Bucket. You are free. Now we have our cooperative squirrel. This is Hazelnut Hex. This is the story about saving breakfast. Well, Victor, it was like a dollar seventy-five in the American eShop um, earlier today. I don't know what it'll be there, but eh, worth checking out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I do love a waffle myself. Here, let's go for a more general purpose, um, theme. I was going pure offense earlier and I was getting hit too damn much. Now I'm getting hit even more, but that's just because I'm in a harder part of the game. And the fun part about this game, for me anyway, is you don't have to be good at it, you get infinite lives. Mm. 
nice. Yeah, when I saw a queued em up type game, I was just like, yep, I'm getting it. I'm mo I bought it using, like, my leftover Nintendo points. Mm. Millie, I'm sure glad to see you here. I'm trying to figure out what's causing breakfast to disappear. Get bent, Nat. Why don't you grab your big dumb spoon and take a hike? Oh, I, I really like these character, um... Introductions. This this is what happens to people who skip breakfast, it's true. Maybe I will play Skullgirls. Tell me about it. Tell me more facts about it so I can make a determination. Difficulty on this game is kind of weird to me because, like, recovering any health is damn near impossible, but you also have infinite lives, so, like, if you want to spam continue, this is an easy game to progress through, otherwise it would be unforgiving as shit. Well, hey, that does sound fun. Getting some hate over cereal. Well, Bucket. <laughs> it's Subaru. I should get extra money for saying what the ad what ads people get out loud. Who knows? One of the one of the people in my audience might just be thinking about their next Subaru purchase. I've still not gotten a Sam bonus. I know Sam is the squirrel. I think I have to finish a game with him to uh, get the bonus, but like, if you take one hit, he's out. Oh. And see, I take a lot of hits. Hey, we got Sam. I kind of love the squirrel. Oh, we lost Sam. I loved the squirrel. Got and lost him in the same moment. <laughs> hey. <coughs> hey, Mare. We're, um... We're flying around, killing things with the power of breakfast. So yeah, the more you die, the harder the game is. And the harder the game is, the more you die. It's... It's an interesting little difficulty scale, I guess. But once again, you have infinite lives. It's just like an arcade, where if you're like... some fancy kid whose parents have a real job, and you just have all the quarters.
Also seems like the more times you die, the more health you get brought back with. But it also resets back to one per life sometimes. I... I really don't know. This game is kind of confusing. I know, imagine quarters. I do. I think about them often. Damn it. I'm glad you're drawing me. <laughs> Call it here, perfectly legal tobacco. <gasps> Seven, are we? Damn. These people are really about this game. This is a beautiful game about what happens if you skip breakfast. It's amazing we don't have 70 viewers yet. Like, I know with that attack, once you can just kind of find a little safe hidey hole, but she's, she, she's a little undodgeable sometimes. with cereal. <coughs> Got a breakfast mystery I need to solve. in this game, too. Uh, and I love the evil ice cream. We lost Sam. Oh, the color palette is fantastic on this game. And it's something that, like I've said before, I can, like, kind of beat in a session. So we honestly could just sort of have fun trying to get the higher and higher scores on it if it became something people wanted to see often. Which is unlikely because I am, you know, not necessarily feeling that out. Victor was gonna ask for this game there. Because it's so cute. Oh. I always get hit when it, like, reopens. 
see, that's... There we go. Get smashed, Skull. How horny are we talking? Because I don't want to play anything immensely horny on stream, Bucket. being a whole fucking problem. Yeah, okay, I don't need to play anything that breaches into the pornographic on stream. Ooh. -oh. The 12 vitamins and minerals of Hazelnut Hex to get her back to normal. Oh yeah, did we notice the strong battle? Did we uwu its approach? They're a deer of some kind, I believe. Maybe of the rain variety, due to, you know, it being cold with balls here. Fuck it! Noted, I will remove that one now that it's no longer... No, that's just you wasted one if I ain't currently playing Pokemon. Shit. This ain't a charitable organization. Select the squirrel. Oh, because that's the only Pokemon I could have out, yes. I did forget to drink one. I'll take my pill for a bit. Getting Sam back. Or I guess no, we're not apparently. Damn. Oh 
Oh, wait. There we go. And lost it. This game would probably be easier if I was good at video games. So my hitbox is technically the character's neck, because that's where her hazelnut charm is, her weak spot. Red move wasn't worth it, and the drill through strategy hasn't been going so great here. So let's try our in between option. So well, the actual life does look fun. Oh, indeed. Well, shit. Okay, let's go back to the hit really, really hard option then. See what happens. I'm starting to think it might want me to learn to dodge, but that's not happening. Strong style indeed. Okay, we have a couple hearts. Maybe we won't die this time. Bonsoir, Net. Something going on. I like this. This one, we don't actually have to help. This one, we're just assaulting for not being a fond of our breakfast cereal. I'll hydrate the second I can. Maybe next time I die, uh, yeah, let's go with the spread one. See if we can just hit, like... Maybe we can hit Vivian by hitting everything on the screen at once while dodging a lot. Like, okay, this strat seems to be paying off. We're getting, like minor chip damage over time and taking less hits ourselves, I would say. Uh, 
ha ha Funny There is not a safe pixel on the screen, no. I like everyone's hair in this. I would love to personally shake the hand of whoever designed all these characters. This is it. Okay, yeah, the wide shot does seem to be really good for this level. Not that this level ever has a chance of being easy, this is the last level. Like, no way to dodge everything. Like, this game is made for you to die a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Oh, I don't think this universe has autism. I think it only has cereal. Oh. I don't know. I mean, some, yes. It's not our place to try to, to try to speak on a universal dragon experience, though. Say I was doing pretty okay at dodging, which for a moment was true. <laughs> what? I'm not. Well, she's just a serial witch. Thank you. It is actually pretty hard for me to see what's going on. Hey, we got Sam right before the boss fight starts. No, no, I'm good. 
Also, it's not called the DMD anymore. Damn it, I lost Sam. Damn it, I lost me. Okay, I think I want the wide shot to fight her. Since I would want to focus more on dodging than attacking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not been the DMV for a little while. Kinda hits everywhere at once also. I'm really afraid to use my beam because I know there is a like final boss fight right after this, and I don't want to be woefully unprepared for it. What are you talking about, Mare? I did not set up a text-to-speech, no. It's Lamona, creator and mascot of Cauliflower Curse. I love the, this plot so much. <laughs> Flower is pretty easy to work with. I know you have a bit of a sweet tooth. Maybe you would work on like a C and B salad or something. <clears throat> yeah, we're fighting there. There's gonna be some witch violence here. Finger gun in the the whole time too. See. Yeah, let's try to go with the more direct violence this round. This uh, this attempt. <laughs> Not responding to that part of work. I, I choose not to acknowledge that statement.
Hey, we did it. Power of backstabbing. <laughs> you killed me, you jerk. defeated, the curse was lifted, and breakfast was restored to the land. And with its no new ghost mascot, Cauliflower Curse went on to become the new number one breakfast cereal in the world. I'm not sure. Okay, time for me to lose at the credits. Because <laughs> the credits also are a game. are brutal. It is very fun that I'm losing at the credits. us at the end. <laughs> yeah, I don't think enough people play this game, though I do think I might be the only one streaming it. 
<laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. It was nice. It was short. <sighs> Thanks, everyone, for watching me play the silly game. As I have beaten the game, though, be seeing ya. Love y'all.